Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I want to show you an example of network gameplay using different devices with Adobe Air. I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab here, and I have an iPad here, and uh, I have an application called uh, iReverse, which I use as my sort of uh, mobile application test bed. So I'll get it started on both devices. You can see that it runs pretty much identically on both devices. I added a new feature last week called network gameplay, so when I choose a new game, I can do single player, two player, or I can do networked. So I'll choose network on both devices, and they find each other on the local network. This is not using a server of any kind. Um, and now uh, I'll choose black for the iPad. So the uh, Galaxy Tab will be white, black gets to go first. So you can see as I make my moves on one device, um, they're reflected on the other device. So you can see that this enables gameplay um, you know, network gameplay, two-player gameplay across different devices because, you know, not all of your friends are going to have the same devices. Um, you can see that I, I can also uh, move through the history of the game on either device and you can see that it's reflected uh, on the opposite device. So perfect network gameplay across the two devices. Um, now since this is Air and it runs on uh, so many different devices, I can also, of course, do this with, with um, other devices like the desktop. So I'll bring up iReverse on the desktop here and I'll select a new game over here, network, and they find each other on the network, and this time the uh, desktop will be black, and I'll make a move here, and you can see it works exactly like it did with the iPad. I can go through the history. Now this will work on any uh, device that the Flash platform runs on, so this works in the browser, it works on iOS, works on Android, it works on the uh, playbook, the RIM playbook, works on Adobe Air for TV. So all these different devices can now play games with each other and talk to each other over the network with no server at all. If you're curious how this works, uh, check out the links in the blog post. The code's all open source, so you can take a look. Thanks for watching.